So League of Legends just released a new cinematic called The Call. And I'm not sure what kind of caliber that will have. Uh, is it kind of like Jinx rocket sized? <laughs> Sorry guys, I got a call. Hello? Oh hey! What do you mean my joke was bad? What the fuck? When the fun police calls you and say that uh, this is the 69 warning you get today. And I will just say... Nice. I'll probably get arrested. Did you know that you can count on the call because you're using a calculator? <laughs> and patiently, I'm trying to watch here. Yo, oh my god, cat. I have cat. Yo, 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 I love you. I love you. Yo. Oh, you, you, you're purring. Oh, hi. You're so cute. Yo. I love cats. This is why I like to play Yumi. And also, do you know where the call is recorded? Pfft. Oh my god, cat, your tail is in my ma- Bleh. I, Right in the yoke! I guess she even knows what you guys want. Shut up, Lano, no more jokes. Bleh. But I was gonna say, the, the place they recorded the call was in Kolkutta. <laughs> yoke still arrived. I'm a professional. <laughs> Cat, please stop this madness. I'm trying to record here. You are like Yumi. Very cute, but also very frustrating. <laughs> Look at my baby. But yes, you know what? I'm not gonna torture you guys anymore. We're gonna jump into the video and have ourselves a good look at the call. <laughs> Yo, I love you, Shan Lee. <laughs> 9 to 5% of my video is cats. I'm terrible sorry about that. The other 5% is dad jokes. Which is funny, because I don't have kids. I mean, I guess the cats counts, but... Uh, yeah. I'm a dad joke without being a dad. I'm that good. Cat, you know, I can't really use the mouse when you're laying on it like that. I'm super excited for this, but I have no idea what to be expected out of this. Uh, I do hope we get to see... Things like maybe Poppy, Malphite. I would love that. I, we, we 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 rarely get to see The Rock. I'm just saying. I mean, except all action movies and all that. But it's not The Rock, Rock, Rock. You know. I'm just saying. I'm the Boulder, <laughs> dude. Malphite. I would love if Malphite had that kind of uh, quote in the game. <laughs> I'm the Boulder, the most powerful Earthbender in the Earth Kingdom. <laughs> that would be fun. But you know what? Let's jump into this. I'm hyped. Let's go. That's hot. Or... Okay. the real right side. Oh. 
Arezzo. Oh god, I love this shit. Seriously. League of Legends animation is just something fierce. I fucking love it. Oh my god. And I, I assume this big one is Rek'Sai. I, that's the only thing I can imagine. And, and the other smaller ones, I guess, is Rek'Sai Babies or something like that. And that's terrifying. Rek'Sai generally is terrifying. Imagine Rek'Sai Babies as well. That's scary as hell! Jesus Christ. I do remember when the splash art of Rek'Sai, she is pretty freaking big, right? Telea, Sejuani, Jesus Christ. That is so... And I assume, uh, Volibear, that the, these Ice Bears people are... Um, well, I assume they are like the same species as Volibear. But not Volibear per se, I guess. Uh, what the fuck are they called? What were they called? I remember I watching Necrit's video uh, way back. Um, the um, Ari is part of as well, you know, the animal, animal, animals things. I don't remember what they were called. I'm terrible, sorry. I'm noob. But yeah, so I assume they are like the same species. And then a oh, pantheon going just ah. Oh. And honestly, I love the visuals of... Look, you see here with all the weapons and all that, you just see, like, uh, Pantheon have fallen down there and how many, many, so many before him has fallen as well. You know, fallen um, into this, well, death? I mean, assumingly that most people, like, you know, die. But not Pantheon. Nah, 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 nah. And I dude, honestly, I really love this as well. We get to see... I mean, Sejuani, we always seen like this, like, super strong and all. But I love that we get to this convey more emotions that, like, yeah, her own struggles. You know, standing up uh, against the angry polar bears. And tell you, it's so nice! Oh! I actually never realized that she has, like, literally stones as uh, the color of... Or the poncho thing? What do you call it? I never realized that. That is so cool, actually. Looks really heavy, though. She's strong. My god. Follow the Winter Queen and her piggy. And Pantheon. The, the fact that Pantheon just fighting um, without his spear there is just fucking badass, I would say. And then I love that we get to see... I assume this is Olaf. Because it's the only dude... With two axes that have a horned helmet and throw the axes as well. Oh, that, oh, dude, this is so good. Then I'm not sure about this, though. Is The first thing that pops in my brain was Aurelian Soul. Like, okay, more. Then again, if Aurelian Soul really wanted to, he could probably literally just evaporate Earth. Because, well, Runeterra, because uh, he's literally creating stars, you know? 
And I really love when the uh, Kaisa puts on the mask, uh, transforms over her face. I think that is such a cool thing, you know? I'm very weak for that kind of shit. But yeah, generally this is amazing. Seriously, I could see full movies with this shit. I love that. Oh my god. Seriously, I am so blown away by this. We need more of this kind of stuff. But yeah, seriously, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, cinematic as much as I did. Because holy crap, this gave me the shivers. I gonna need to be watching this again and again. And probably again after again again. And probably some more after that. <laughs> So yeah, I will be back though with more stuff for the channel, so thank you for watching, see you later, and I've got a new super great day.